Hello and welcome to the Phoenix Mentality Podcast. I'm your host, Shane Hubbard. Today is going to be a short episode talking about what the Phoenix Mentality is, why I started it, and what you can expect from this podcast. If you're familiar with Greek mythology or if you've ever watched the Harry Potter movies, you know that there is a phoenix. And for those that don't know, a phoenix is a bird that when it dies, it rises again from its ashes. And I thought, what better way to conceptualize a fitness journey? Right, you go through different stages in life. Whether you're a you know beginner and you're you know in your 15, 16, 20, or you're a beginner and you're 40, 50, and 60. Um, whether you're a new parent or you're you know somebody who's finally got all your kids out of the house and you want to start taking care of yourself. Whoever you are and whatever stage you are in and whatever struggle you're going through, the Phoenix mentality is for you. This podcast is going to f- focus on supporting you through your own fitness journey. The birth of my daughter was one of the most beautiful and life-changing experiences of my life. But with it came a lot of sacrifice for things that I needed to do to take care of myself. And so once she was born, it was like survival mode. Just trying to sleep was hard enough. So I decided about six months in, I was just going to focus on trying to sleep and trying to control my nutrition. And I didn't do a very good job of that. It was Not completely ridiculous, but I didn't do a great job. At the turn of the year, today is January 21st, 2024. I decided that, you know what? My daughter is sleeping more consistently at night. I have opportunities in the morning when she goes for a nap and when she goes to bed. I'm going to make this happen. And I'm not going to make excuses. And I'm not going to wait for ideal situations. I'm just going to make it happen. In tandem with that, part of what makes me happy is creating content, or more accurately, learning something, sharing my perspective in hopes that it helps other people. So that's what the Phoenix Mentality is. That's why I created it. What can you expect from this podcast? I want you to think of me as your support coach through your own individual journey. While I might not be writing your workout program, while I might not be writing your nutrition program, and while I might not meet with you in person, This podcast is going to serve as a motivational support system that helps you during your fitness journey when things feel like you either need to give up or you're stuck or you're struggling with something, I will be here to help you along that way. That being said, if you want to submit a question, if you have a a, a hangup that you're going through and you want my perspective on it to help you through that, I would encourage you to submit it. I'm going to figure out a way to get that going. I know on Spotify, if you're watching this on Spotify or listening to it, they have opportunities to you know, send messages and things like that, something like that, like a Q&A kind of thing. Um, if you don't, you can go to my social media profiles, at Shane Hubbard Fit on Instagram, and then uh, at Shane Hubbard Fit on YouTube. And I'd be more than happy to answer a question through a comment or a direct message, whatever it might be. So this podcast is your support system through your fitness journey. That's what you can expect. I might not be going over, I haven't completely mapped everything out yet because this is a journey and experience for me too, but don't expect, you know, five nutrition tips that are going to make you lose fat in 25 days. That's not what this podcast is going to be. This is going to be very much a journey and mindset and mentality and self-transformation, you know, guidance kind of podcast. Um, I will throw out, you know, some of the recipes that I make that I feel have stood the test of time uh, that are high protein and things like that. And we will talk about nutrition. We will talk about fitness, but um, it's not going to be your typical sort of clickbait, you know, do these five things to do, you know, get this result kind of stuff. It's more going to be a conversation. It's going to be, you know, one of the things I'm going to do is pull from experts. So guys like Tony Robbins, Jordan Peterson, um, there's a lot of other ones. I'm not going to limit it to those two, but People that have coached or, you know, are clinical psychologists in self-transformation and self-improvement, I'm going to be pulling information from them, citing them, and then talking about those things in the scope of fitness and nutrition. So while they theirs might be specific to just self-improvement, we're going to take that advice, we're going to take that information and apply it to how you can make your fitness journey a more successful one and feel empowered to do the best things that you can for yourself, but also 
accept the fact that you are going to fail along the way, that things are going to get challenging, that just because everything's moving optimally right now doesn't mean that it's all going to come crashing down tomorrow. The idea is not to try to become perfect, but rather to become resilient, to stay consistent despite the circumstances that are out of your control, and find a way to keep moving forward in whatever increment that looks like for you and your unique fitness journey. So, That is my welcome episode for you today. Thanks a ton for listening or watching. I look forward to talking to you in the next episode.